welcome or welcome back to Penny's Two Cents. It's your girl Penny, and today I have my father with me. Hi, everyone. Guys, we're back at Arby's. Arby's has a new limited time sandwich, and we're going to taste test it and rate it for you guys. What is it, you may ask? <laughs> it is called the brisket, bacon, beef, and cheddar. The brisket, bacon, beef, and cheddar sandwich, okay? Here in Ohio, they're charging $7.00. And 59 cents for this sandwich. Now I feel like that's a little high for Arby's, so I'm hoping it's gonna taste good. Okay. Aren't you hoping it's gonna taste yeah, good? Yeah, I do. <laughs> so anyway, guys, it's got uh, smoked brisket, roast beef, bacon, uh, cheddar sauce, red ranch on an onion roll. Now, guys, right. if you haven't seen some of my other uh, Arby's uh, reviews, our Arby's reviews. Please go back and watch them. I ordered an extra side of Red Ranch because the last time we got our beef and cheddar, I got a beef and cheddar, they didn't put the Red Ranch on. Now, I want to say props to Arby's as far as not charging extra money for sauces, okay? So they didn't charge any extra money for this Red Ranch that I asked for on the side and they gave it to me, okay? So props to them. They did not charge us for that. I'm going to get Dad started on his sandwich. We're both going to have one of these sandwiches. I'm going to get him started on his sandwich, and we'll look at mine a little closer. And we're going to look at mine because his looked a little bit better, and I'm giving him the one I think that looks a little better. Okay. Okay, Dave. I don't know which way you want to go. That's, that's the easiest way. Um, if you saw that little struggle of me handing the sandwich to Dad, we always like to make you aware Dad has macular degeneration, guys. It's a progressive vision loss. He's at the end of the progression, okay? He can see light and he can see dark, but he can't make out detail. His field of vision is a really foggy or a really smoky curtain. He is legally blind, okay? So this is a true blind taste test for him. Now, before we look at my sandwich, we wanna ask you guys to please subscribe Show that subscribe button some love, guys. It's down below. Click it, boop it, smash it. It's free, it's easy. And if you've already subscribed, or if you don't want to subscribe, we understand, but can you take a few extra seconds and hit that like, the thumbs up that you see down below, click that like or thumbs up. That's the easiest way you can support us. Uh, it, it, believe it or not, it helps push our videos out. The more thumbs up and likes we get, the more uh, people get to watch our videos. That's, it, it, it really does work, guys. It does work. So take a few extra seconds and hit that like or thumbs up. Now, let's, let's inspect my sandwich a little closer. So it is on the onion bun, like a beef and cheddar would be. So the, basically, this is a beef and cheddar. They add brisket and bacon to it. Okay? So that's what we're expecting. Okay, this looks a little better than I thought it. This one looks a little better than I thought it did when I was peeking in. So it's hard to discern the beef and the brisket. So I see cheddar and bacon here. I see a little fuzzy, but I think that was from me, from my sweatshirt, so don't freak out. There's brisket here on top. At first I thought that was the beef, but you can kind of tell it's got like a fatty, little fatty rings in it, but it doesn't look gross, okay? I just want to let you know. It's got the red ranch and then the regular roast beef on the bottom. Okay, so let's give this thing a whirl. We're going to rate it for you guys, and we're going to tell you what we like or don't like about it, and we're going to be honest, okay? Our goal is to save you money, so our honesty is, that is, like me and Dad said, we just like to be true to you. We don't want you to waste your money on some product, you know what I mean, by us giving it, you know, sugarcoating it. We're not going to do that. We're not sponsored, Okay. And please stay to the end of the video. I got a few birthday shout outs that I would like to say at the end of the video. So, after we get done eating this and rating this. <laughs> okay. This is definitely a meaty sandwich. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here's a piece of the brisket, okay? It's a long, 
it's real thin. It's not like a thick brisket. Mm -hmm. It's real thin. It's got some marbleized uh, fat in it. It's thin, uh, it's smoke flavor to it. Mm -hmm, it does have a little bit of a smoky flavor. That sauce on there, do you taste that little sweetness of that sauce? Yes. That is really helping it. It's really, really helping it. And I got a story about that too, guys. We're going to ramble a little bit after we rate these. The red ranch that they put on here is not really ranch, okay? It's like a ketchup. It's kind of sweet. It's like a ketchupy based sauce. It's kind of sweet. And it goes good with this because you got that bacon that's got that little saltiness in it. You got the cheddar cheese that's a little salty. The roast beef is, you know, just a little light roast beef. The brisket is bringing a little bit of smoke, like Dad said. And this onion bun. This onion bun adds to this, too. Mm -hmm. You want to pause on that for a minute? Yeah. You just keep eating, Dad. Um, uh, well, Dad's finishing up this thing, and I'm not hurrying you, okay, Dad? You just take your time. I want to do the birthday shout-outs and get them out of the way, okay? Because I have some things to talk about with Arby's and our Arby's experience, okay? Okay. Um, I've had a few people ask for birthday shout-outs or people that's told me it's their birthday or whatever. I'm going to give some shout outs. I don't know how long I can keep doing the birthday shout outs. I mean, I'm just being honest with you guys. You know, you have so many people. If you tell me it's your birthday in comments, you know, I can, you know, talk to you in the comments. Um, that's fine. I just don't know how much I can keep up with all the birthday shout outs. But I am going to shout these people out. And guys, if I missed your birthday, know that we love you we wish everybody a happy birthday when it's their birthday i don't want anybody to feel left out okay you're not left out you're all near and dear to us i just want to make that very plain and simple and clear okay so anyway i did have a special request for a birthday shout out now i know i'm gonna mess this name up because names are so tricky to pronounce warner price or Warner, or Warner, or Warner. I don't know. Warner, I'm going to go with Warner. Warner Price, happy birthday. Happy birthday, man. Uh, we hope you have a great birthday. I got some belated birthdays. Oh, I have an early birthday, too. I want to say happy birthday to Phil. It's going to be a little early, I think, for your birthday. But happy birthday, Phil. And I got some belated birthdays. I got a happy birthday to Z. Happy birthday, Z. I hope you enjoyed your week of birthday. I, I give everybody a week. I think everybody deserves a week birthday. That's just what I'm saying. That's just that's yeah. how I always feel about me. I always figure Monday through that Sunday, that's all my birthday week because that's when I do my, you know, go out to dinner and do that stuff. So happy belated birthday, Z. And happy belated birthday, Gus. Uh, we want to wish you a happy birthday as well. Like I said, guys, it's hard to keep up on all the birthday wishes. I wish I could ever, I wish I knew what everybody's birthday was and I could go through and wish everybody a happy birthday. Um, <laughs> I just don't want anybody to feel left out. We wish everybody a happy birthday and we yeah, love, we do. and we love you for watching our videos every day. It's just, <laughs> it's hard. Okay. I, I'm going to admit it. I'm honest with you. It's just hard to keep up with all those things, you know, trying to find what we're going to review next and trying to do the video and try to edit and all those things, you know? Okay. I'm going to take one more bite here, but since I got me some more red ranch, I want to do a little extra dip of red ranch on this. I feel like it needs a little, a little, just a little more. I had plenty on mine. Okay. I purposely 
did not say much about it because I wanted I want you to hear dad's uh, thoughts on this sandwich so dad hold off on the score okay we're, okay. Gonna, we're gonna talk about he always likes to jump in and give the score before you know give the rating before we talk about it I, I think it it's only fair to talk about the different parts of this sandwich um, discuss it first and then we'll give you our score so you know what, what about our score um real quick if you can do the channel a five or lower is that thing is garbage don't waste your money get something else okay a six to a seven is it's eh, we'd eat it but we really wouldn't recommend it anything above a seven we recommend the closer it gets to a 10 we highly recommend and guys we rarely give out tens we only give out tens as special something that knocks our socks off or the thing that tastes so good you can't imagine it tasting any better those are perfect tens and not everything out here is a perfect 10 guys we're keeping it real with you like i said we're trying to save you money okay guys damn this well, let me get the name of it i'm afraid i'm going to mess up the name if i don't look at it brisket bacon beef and cheddar so basically it's the arby's beef and cheddar they've added brisket and bacon to it right. okay so how do you feel about the whole what, it is a very good sandwich mm -hmm. I, i'll tell you what if you like the smoky flavor mm -hmm. it's there mm -hmm. if you like the roast beef sandwich it's there yeah. It, it, if you like the red sauce, it's there. <laughs> if you like the uh, the bun with the, the onion, it's yep. there. Onion bun. And the cheese is there. Yeah, it's the cheddar sauce. Okay. And uh, it's, it's a good sandwich. Uh, I don't know uh, if you can do it any better. Okay, so you think it like melds good together, all those ingredients, I do. the bacon, I do. the cheese, everything, all that? Everything is the sauce. Goes good together. Plenty there. Uh... I really think, and I don't want to stop you, Dad, but I really think it needs the red ranch sauce. Right. And here's my reasoning. Like I said, the, the cheddar cheese has a little salty flavor, right? The bacon has that salty, smoky flavor. Then you got the brisket that has that fatty, uh, little smoky flavor with a little salt, too. And then you just got the roast beef, right? So I feel like you got some salt going on there. If you don't have the red ranch that bring in that little bit of sweet in there, I think it might be a little, like, just too much. Not not enough, like, um, balance of flavors. I think that red ranch does bring something to the table. Now, that being said, I would, for me... If I was going to keep getting this sandwich, it's a good sandwich, I would get more of that Red Ranch. So, if you think you like that salty, sweet kind of combination, I would get extra Red Ranch. And our Arby's did not charge for an extra cup of Red Ranch. So, I just, I'm putting out there that I recommend you get extra Red Ranch on the side. Just in case you want a little more of that. Oh, so they had plenty of red uh, sauce on mine. For you. Yeah. And uh, Cause Dad it, just was, likes that pinch, it was a know? good, it was a good sandwich. Um, it was, it was 9.5. Uh, a 9.5 for you? 9.5. I wasn't quite And ready. it was a good sandwich. <laughs> it was a good sandwich. It was, it was close to being perfect as you can be. Okay. I wasn't ready for the 9.5, guys. I had one more question I want to ask him. See, he always gets to that number. He wants to tell you that number. 9.5 from Dad. I did want to say really quick, before we ate our sandwich and we were talking about the meats on it, I was wondering if it was going to be too meaty for him because sometimes like when he's eating burgers, he only wants like a single patty because he says it's just too much beef or too much meat. Um, and I just wondered what, why is this okay? Is it well, easier to eat? The, the, the flavor, is, uh, I guess it's uh, expectation. Okay. Expecting the roast beef. And then uh, the, the brisket is there. It is all all the flavors were there. Okay, my prediction is it was yeah the flavors taste good together. My also my prediction for dance score I gotta say it guys because I'm thinking it okay. Don't think that I'm being pushy. I'm not. But my thing is I'm thinking that like I said at first I thought maybe it'd be too much meat for him and he would be turned off by this but um, I'm thinking that the meat is so tender 
and the meat does have a good flavor. Right, right. It's easy for you to eat with your dentures. You weren't fighting with it, and you enjoyed it, and it ta all tasted good and together. You enjoyed it, 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 right. That's what I was that is, it is perfect. That's a perfect analysis. That's what I was thinking by why Dad gave it that score. Because at first I thought, maybe that's going to be too much meat for him. Maybe he's not going to like it as much. Okay, so here's my thing. When I hear brisket, nah, I, I'm not, I'm, I got to tell you what I'm thinking in my head, right, guys? When I hear brisket, I think of, of a barbecue place that has brisket. And the brisket is not shaped quite as thin as this, okay? Brisket is a, maybe a little thicker, but it's tender. It kind of falls apart. It's smoky. It melts in your mouth, okay? I'm thinking of that kind of brisket. That is not what this kind of brisket is. This is shaved really thin, like their roast beef. I don't, um, I don't know how they did it. Yeah, they shave the, it the really smoke, thin. Uh, the smoke flavor, but it's really there. Yeah, the smoke from the brisket is kind of showing through, and I think the bacon is also helping. Yeah, okay. Is also helping that smoky flavor. Now it's not over the top smoky. I don't want you to think that because some people can't handle over the top smoky. It's no, not. it's not. So if you're thinking of the thicker brisket, it's not. Okay, it's a shaved thin brisket. There's a little bit of marbling fat in there. Not no thick chewy fat so it, it's, I think it's the a texture, good it's a good sandwich yeah for for arby's and making this sandwich i think the texture of this is really good as far as the enjoyability of it and eating it okay but i don't want you to think it's the thicker brisket it is not it is the very thin brisket now i'm not gonna go as high as a 9.5 um i think it's a very good sandwich I think with the extra red ranch, because that's how I plan on eating the rest of my sandwiches, putting a little more of that extra red ranch, because I want it to have a little more of that sweetness for that salty. I just want more of that. Um, with the extra red ranch, though, I am going to say it's a solid nine. It's a very solid nine, okay? So it's up to, you know, how you interpret that. But I say if you like their red ranch sauce, like on their beef and cheddars, I say get an extra cup of Red Ranch, especially if they're not going to charge you for it. Get an extra cup because I think you're going to enjoy it even more on this sandwich because it, it cuts through some of that saltiness and it, it makes the sandwich better for me. This just It's just preference, like Dad said. Mine was a, a, a choice sandwich. Yep. It was a, a, it was a... It was a good sandwich. It was a good sandwich. No. I'll tell you what, you, could, you can't go wrong. With a go get the brisket, uh, cheddar, brisket, beef, ba cheddar. <laughs> Bris brisket, bacon, beef, and cheddar. <laughs> um, and um, uh, onion bun. And the onion bun, yep. And I tell you what, the, that onion bun uh, it adds, that, to it that too. Too, yeah, adds it to it. Yeah, it does. It does. Um, so real quick, seven dollars and fifty nine cents. That is a little high, okay. But you are getting a lot of meat on the sandwich, okay. It's, it's a it's a filling sandwich. <laughs> It's a I know a lot family. of people don't like to see bite marks, but guys, look how thick. That's oh, how it's thick. A, it's a big. It's a roast, but it's it's easy a to bite roast beef, and yeah. it's a, what you expect of the Arby's. Yeah. Okay. So I think we hit the review. I got a little rambling I want to do. Okay. Arby's, if you're listening, I I I gotta ask you to bring back something, Arby's. Bring back your turnover. The one that you put like the chocolate syrup inside of it, it you know the, the Arby's has the the. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, they had an app. They have an apple and a cherry, an apple turnover and a cherry turnover. They still have that. They've had it for years. A few years ago, I can't tell you when. There was like a small window. It was, it, it was out for a couple years, I think. They had a turnover that had like a Hershey's chocolate syrup in that. That thing was divine for a fast food dessert. That thing was a perfect 10 for me. And I wish they would bring it back. I've been hoping that they would bring it back. So Arby's, if you're listening, or an Arby's employee, or a CEO, bring back that chocolate turnover. And guys, have you tried that chocolate turnover back in the day? Let me know because that thing was delicious. I was hooked. I was hooked. That thing was good. Okay, now, here's a little bit of a... I guess a learning experience or a little, it's not even a really a gripe, but it is kind of a gripe. 
So we have two Arby's that are really close to us. I prefer to go to the one that's a little, a couple miles further from us. I always prefer them. I feel like they're faster service. I feel like they hardly ever mess up. I just feel like I get a better experience there, okay? And that's the one I always tend to go to. The last time we did an Arby's review, I think it was when Dad did the fish sandwich. It was the Cheddar Thon. Okay. The Cheddar Thon uh, review. Please go back and watch that one if you have It was good. It was good. Dad had the fish sandwich. I got the beef and cheddar. Now, if you're an Arby's stand, you know what Arby's is all about. The beef and cheddar is this. It's an onion bun. It's uh, roast beef. It is cheddar sauce. And it is the red ranch. <laughs> that makes up the beef and cheddar. It does. It okay, does. So are you okay? I just yeah, make sure okay. okay. Yeah, okay. So, they didn't put any red ranch on my beef and cheddar. And I expected it because that is the sandwich, right? That's supposed to go on there. So, I thought they just messed up. Okay, I l literally thought that they just forgot to put my red ranch. So today when we go and get these sandwiches and I order, you know, two brisket sandwiches or whatever, I ask them for the extra side of the, the red ranch in a cup. And he says, um, I'm sorry, but we're out of uh, the red ranch. And I said, oh, so the sandwich isn't going to have the red ranch on? He said, no. And I said, okay, well then I don't want to order. So... I came to this Arby's and it has the Red Ranch, okay? So this is my thing. When we were at the other, at the Arby's that didn't have the Red Ranch the other day and did our video, they did not tell us that there wasn't any Red Ranch. They just went ahead and let, took the order for the beef and cheddar, slapped it together, threw it in a bag. We're going to notice, guys. Arby's, we're going to notice if we like a certain sauce on your sandwich, we think that's part of the sandwich and it's not on there, we're going to notice. So why didn't they tell me that they were out of the, the Red Ranch the other day? I had to order extra for them to tell me, oh, we're out of the Red Ranch. That's not right. If you're wanting to keep good sir, you know, give good service and keep your customers coming back and keep them getting what they expect Be to get. Be truthful with them. Right. Tell them up front, if they order something that you're out of, uh, some product that goes on that sandwich or on that thing, let them know that they don't, you don't have it. Because they're going to get mad when they get their stuff and take it home, or they take it to the park and go eat it and it doesn't have the Red Ranch on it. Or it doesn't have the cheese that you didn't have, that you didn't even bother to tell them that you don't have it. Just tell them, be truthful like Dad said. I mean, I was just like, wow, they should have told me the other day. I thought, here, I thought they just totally messed up. Well, they did mess up in customer service. They didn't tell me that they were out of Red Ranch. You know, tell me. Just tell me. That's all you need to do. <laughs> anyway, guys. Be truthful. Yep. Be truthful. Yeah, I wish the, I wish the, I mean, these fast food places, all restaurants, right? The prices are going higher, so you expect, you expect good quality and good service for the price that you're paying. So the, the restaurants need to, you know, give that back. You know, hey, we are charging extra. You know, give let's give them good service. Let's make sure they know what they're getting. Let's, you know, something. There needs to be a give and take here. You know, you want our money, but you got to make sure that you give us a good product. Okay, that's all I'm asking. <laughs> but anyway, you ready to let these guys go, Dad? Yes. Yes, yes. you're ready to let them go. <laughs> okay, guys, we hope you all have a great lunch. A great dinner or a great late night snack. But most of all, guys, we hope you have a good day. A good day and a better tomorrow. And God bless you all. I just realized I said good day. Dad said good day. We always say have a great day. But have a great day. Have yeah, a great day. <laughs> and God bless. And come back tomorrow. See what we're eating. See what we're reviewing. See if we like it or not. Until tomorrow. Bye-bye.